Are you not, or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Many questions can be answered yes or no only by a moron or a slave. <laughs> Brian Cranston says the message of the story attracted him to the role more so than Trombo's flamboyant character. This man who was uh, uh, a prolific writer, the highest paid screenwriter in Hollywood at the time, and a member of the American Communist Party, um, and summoned to Washington to, uh, to make a statement under oath, under the penalty of, of imprisonment, to uh, withgo his, his First Amendment rights and uh, be compelled to give testimony um, with a very un-American question, are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? You talk like a radical, but you live like a rich guy. It's like a perfect combination. The radical may fight the purity of Jesus, but the rich guy wins with the cunning of Satan. Trumbo's acerbic wit doesn't win him any friends. In 1950, he is sentenced for contempt of court. He is no longer allowed to work in Hollywood and loses his wealth. But he is talented and resourceful. Trumbo, we can't afford you. All right. I'll write you a movie for 1200 then. And you don't want your name on it? No, you don't want my name on it. Gossip columnist and fervent anti-communist Hedda Hopper, played by Helen Mirren, is one of Trumbo's greatest foes. She has vowed to wipe him off the face of Hollywood. Come on, rub my face in it. Whisper a movie you've written in secret. Maybe I've even heard of it. Maybe you have. She wasn't far off. Trumbo won two Academy Awards under different names. Phone for you. Oh, who is it? It's Colonel Douglas. But there's a good story in there about one man who tried to take on the whole world. Now what's the title? Spartacus. His talent helped chip away at the injustice of the blacklist and silenced his enemies. We know, okay? It's a small town. The gossip's always true. Fire Dalton Trumbo and the rest of them. Or you got pickets, headlines, and boycotts. We will put you right out of business. Jay Roach's witty satire and stellar cast does more than entertain. It offers a stark reminder of what happens when political bullying goes unchecked and civil liberties are chipped away. The real problem all over the world is this immoral assertion of power over the most private thoughts of men. You don't end something like this by giving them what they have no right to ask. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.